G'day guys, Billy here. Well, I'm in Wagen in the Great Southern Region of West Australia. It's Saturday today, fellas. And uh, just come back from the Wagen rubbish dump, guys. I scored an absolute gold mine today. So I'm going for the main street of Wagen right now, fellas. Uh, Wagen's really a beautiful town. This is where I do most of my basic shopping. Heaps of beautiful pubs, fellas. This one here, the Mitchell Hall, is actually just for sale. The big one down there, that's the Palace Hotel, that one there. So where we're going now, fellas, is to Mr Moran's Wagen Hotel, this one right here. And there's all a little bit of uh, the courthouse of Wagen Town Hall. Anyway, fellas, Mr. Moran died a few months ago. And uh, so this is his beautiful old hotel. Totally empty at the moment, guys. I'm unsure what's going to happen with this hotel. Probably get sold. But anyway, up the Wagen rubbish dump today and last weekend, I scored so much beautiful stuff, especially today, guys. I scored around, I reckon, 20 rolls of very, very historical, uh, old 1940s era plus uh, film footage, 9mm film footage, rolls of film, about 20 rolls, maybe give or take a few. So it all belongs to Mr Moran, so they did a big clean out of this pub, guys. I've actually done a video on the inside of this pub a couple of years ago, so I'll put the link below. It's really, really beautiful inside, guys. It's a um, beautiful Art Deco uh, architecture and sculptures and beautiful wooden uh, staircase and so much more. But this uh, is totally abandoned, basically, now, as with many pubs in rural West Australia. Like that Mitchell's Hotel that I just showed you, that one's basically... Don't know if it's operating anymore. It's not actually a pub anymore, but the only operating pub in Wage now is the Palace Hotel, and that's beautiful too. So there probably would have been around four or five pubs in Wagen at one stage in the 19, early 1900s plus. Wagen would have been settled in the probably mid 1800s. So anyway, guys, like I say, I scored so much beautiful stuff today. If only you saw it, I'll show you one day. Not just those film rolls, guys, but beautiful old photos and uh, all around four of the uh, the guest books from the Moran's hotels, all the signatures and names. So it could be some famous people would have signed their names in there, possibly. So anyway, guys, a couple of years ago I did um, a video in here. I cleaned up a couple of sheds for Mr Moran and he gave me a heap of copper and brass and that kind of stuff but there used to be a beautiful old shed right in here guys what got burnt down and they've just demolished her and when I did this video a couple of years ago I found a couple of beautiful marble bottles and I came here this morning and there's still some broken marble bottles here and there's one fully intact bottle it's not a marble bottle but I reckon there could be some something interesting here guys so I'll grab my shovel quickly leave the dogs there <coughs> might find another marble bottle guys so underneath this shed when I first um, did a bit of probing and stuff I found a few nice marble bottles but anyway guys this is what I mean I'll quickly show you so there's one there, but there's all heaps of rolls of film. That's the only one without a cassette, but there's heaps in there, guys. There's some really historical ones in there. Cottesloe. Oh, might not be from the 1940s, guys. These are plastic, so it could be from the 1970s, but so many beautiful things I found today, fellas. Beautiful old photos and... Um, so my shed, my truck is totally full of stuff. 
So here's an interesting one here, guys. I'll quickly show you this. So Whitnoom, WA to Catherine NT. So probably 1960s era, I'd say, guys. But Whitnoom, I've done videos on Whitnoom before. Whitnoom's famous for the blue asbestos mine. I've actually been there a few times. Reason it's famous, guys, is because many thousands of people have died from being exposed to blue asbestos. Who used to work up there? My uncle actually died. He worked up there. He got exposed to blue asbestos and died of mesothelioma. Um, so there's some pretty historical footage is going to be, but not just that, guys. Beautiful books, a little bit of military, heaps and heaps of cassettes. I found that Mr. Moran, he loves his opera. Um, He's also a veteran, guys. I found his DVA record. Um, so much of his personal stuff just got tossed out, guys. I scored a little bit. Um, a lot of uh, historical stuff to do with the Wajin pub. And uh, so much more. It's pretty bit of a shame, guys. You know, they could have given it to the Wajin Historical Society. I've got a huge mystery bag over there full of, full of stuff. I'm unsure what that is. So that mystery bag is full of all documents and other stuff. Another mystery bag there. Heaps of beautiful old books and heaps and heaps of good stuff today, guys. So it's a beautiful 9mm film projector. This is the only shovel I can find. But anyway, let's have a quick probe around and see what we can find, guys. So this is the rear of the Wage and Moran's Hotel. But like I say, guys, I think it's a bit disappointing that it's just out most of his... Belongings. They could have easily given it to the Wage and Historical Society, but mind you, they probably did keep a lot of good stuff. Who knows? It's none of my business, guys, but it's always good to save stuff. But anyway, here's the remains of an old marble bottle. So, when I first found this shed, guys, it was totally collapsed, um, and yeah, there was definitely some beautiful marble bottles I found. I think I found two, but they weren't embossed. It would be nice to find a a Wajin marble bottle. They're worth about three thousand dollars. So who knows? But this is that bottle here, anyway, guys. That one there. It's got a chip on it. It's another bottle there that's not that old, but there's a remains of a marble bottle, guys. It's this one here. Beautiful old green beer bottle. There you are, that's 1920s era beer bottle. Um, but yeah, there could be some marble bottles underneath here, guys, when they built the, the pub. Oh, look at this, guys, look at this. No. Oh, beautiful old salad oil dressing bottle, fellas. Oh, here's another one. Nice, all of that Ainsley whiskey bottle, guys. Beautiful old Ainsley whiskey bottle. So I should have been prepared today, guys, and brought my rake. Would have given it a rake. I reckon underneath this soil there could be some bottles, guys. This guys, what's this one? Broken beer bottle. Oh, another bottle here, guys. Oh, look at that. Another one. Beautiful beer bottle. Just a little one. So I just kicked the dirt with my feet, guys, as I it's not a very it's a great shovel, that one, but it's not good for should have put my rake like I say. So I just kicked the dirt. With my feet, see if we can come across anything underneath for this leaf mulch. It's a nice old pickle bottle. I'll just set up my camera quickly, guys. More. Through my shovel.
Bottle's got a bottle. It's a nice old, nothing special, fellas. It's a nice old champagne beer bottle. It's a pity it's not embossed. But, uh, Hasn't rained for a couple of months guys, so it's really dry, so it's possibly going to get some rain this week. So I might bring my probe over and we'll have a look around. There could be some more bottles because I reckon this is probably the area where the original builders of the Wajin pub probably camped. And they buried all their bottles, they cooked, because obviously the, the old cheap bones and so forth. No, gotta wait till it rains. Nothing special. We're 1920s era beer bottle. They're common as dog shit. Hold on fellas, just move my camera. Marble bottle, hey fellas, marble bottle. Got a marble bottle, hey guys. So if this is a Wajin one, if it's fully intact, but if this was a Wajin marble bottle, which I doubt, it'd be worth about three thousand dollars. It's gonna be broken, I think. Broken. Oh well. <coughs> Sorry, I'll set up my camera again, we'll have one more look guys.
the bottle guys. Another bottle fellas. I think it's just gonna be a beer bottle. <laughs> yep. Different one. Once again pretty common. Pretty common fellas. But I haven't metal detected or hunted for bottles for ages guys. I'm always looking but it's so hard to uh come across some where I come from so I've just about bottle detected everywhere metal detected there's plenty of places to metal detect but I've also lost a lot of motivation guys working in my garden all the time but I'll come back to it when I'm ready so bear with me fellas so I reckon there could be some more bottles under here so we'll come back after we get a big heavy thunderstorm fellas with my proper fire rake and see what we can find